Hi, I'm Ariel Gold, a product expert in San Francisco. Today we're going to talk about some popular choices in bottles and nipples. Bottles and nipples typically come in a set. You might end up starting off with a few different brands, just to see which one your baby likes the best. You can always change bottles later. Something to note is that the baby will typically decide which nipple they like the best. The first thing you want to consider is nipple shape. Traditional has a bell or a dome shape. Wide neck has a platform for the baby's lips to rest against. This feels similar to the breast. Orthodontic has a dome on one side to go up against the palate, whereas the flat side stays on the tongue. This might feel more comfortable to your baby. The vented helps to reduce the amount of air baby may intake. The next thing you want to consider is nipple flow. Most bottle sets are going to start off with the slowest flow nipple. This is ideal for newborns and preemies. As your baby continues to get older and they become a faster eater, you're going to want to move up to a faster flow. The most important thing to pay attention to are your baby's cues. If you're noticing that the baby's getting frustrated at the nipple, then it could be that it's too slow and you need to move up to the next size. If your baby is getting is choking on the milk, then it could be that it's too fast and you need to go down to a slower flow nipple. Now that we know about nipples, let's talk about bottles. There are four major materials that baby bottles are made out of. Plastic is light and durable, however it is porous and so you want to make sure that you clean it as soon as possible just so that it doesn't get stinky. Glass bottles, though heavier than plastic, don't contain synthetic material. However, glass can break and so you want to make sure that you have a sleeve to help absorb any of that shock. Stainless steel bottles are like a hybrid between the glass and the plastic. They're light the way that plastic is, however they're easy to clean the way that glass is. This is also a really nice option if you're currently using glass bottles but your daycare prohibits it. Silicone bottles are squishy. These are really nice if a baby tends to fall asleep while feeding. You can squeeze a little extra into baby's mouth to remind them that they are still feeding. Lastly, let's take a look at bottles that have some special features. Anti-colic and vented bottles have an internal venting system that helps to decrease the amount of air bubbles baby may take in. Angled bottles are designed to be more comfortable for you while feeding your baby. Disposable bottles have a disposable insert. These are great for when you're traveling. The bottle itself, however, is not disposable, just the liner. One of the most common questions that I get are how many bottles do you need to start off with? Three to four is a great place to start. If you're looking to have enough clean bottles for a full day, then I would recommend 10 to 12. 